let me give you guys some perspective on this, right? You guys know that, that people, people will go to school, go to college for four to five years of their life, get themselves in 60K in debt, sometimes on average 30 to 60K in debt to hopefully get a job. Okay, hopefully with no guarantee of a job. And, and right, this is facts over fear. You know, 85% of people that graduate school don't even get a job in their major. That, that, that's crazy. That, that's insane to me, right? Does that sound like a good investment? I'm not here bashing school or anything. You, you, you be the judge, right? You be the judge of that. Because I'm giving you guys just the facts. I'm going I'm to keep it, you know, men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. Those are the facts. People commit four or five years. Let me give you another one. You know, people commit four to six years to the military. And I love our servicemen and I love our service women so much. But this is another crazy problem is they'll commit, you know, four to six years of their life, you know, with no guarantee at the end of their entire life, four to six years. It's the truth. No guarantee of their life at the end of four to six years. Some people commit even the, the, the most dangerous one. The most dangerous one, I think, is the one where people will commit 40 years, 40 years of their life to go work with no guarantee of a 401k or pension or even a retirement fund. You guys know, I, I think the majority of people that are on the call today, the majority of you are millennials, all right? The majority of you are millennials. You can look this up after this call. There's a Forbes article. It's dated in 2019. I was, it was scary when I read the article. It said that 79% of people that are on the 79% of people that are millennials will work for money until the day they drop dead. That means 80% of us, think about it, or 80% of people in your entire high school class will work for money until they no longer can breathe. You tell me, you, you tell me if that's a good plan. I'm not going to tell you what's the good plan, what's the bad plan. I'm here to tell y'all the facts. I, I need y'all to really decide if you can commit at least a year in entrepreneurship. Because the reality is, bro, to, to even open up your local coffee fucking shop here, it's like you need 100 to 200 grand. Just because this business is 235, you can't commit a year. The, the startup cost gets me pissed off. Because the reality is, it should be two to three thousand dollars to get started. Maybe people would take it a little bit more fucking serious. Maybe they would treat it like a six-figure business and a seven-figure business. If you're not where you're at right now, it's probably because you're treating this business like a hobby. You're not treating it like a million-dollar business. I said this on the last call. Imagine if I gave you the income. Okay. I gave you the income. I gave you the rank. I gave you 10 grand a month. I gave you 10 grand a month. I gave you the people, I gave you the network, gave you everything. Imagine you coming into a 10 grand a month position. What would that work ethic look like? What would the attitude be like? What would the posture look like? What would the confidence look like? What would the skill set look like? What would all of that look like? Think about that. And now ask yourself the question, why haven't I been acting like that already? Why haven't I been operating like that? Because I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't hit chairman 10, January 18th, 2018. I hit chairman 10 the day I fucking signed up. The day I signed up. Because I saw it. You couldn't tell me otherwise. The way I was talking to people, even as a Platinum 150, I, got, I signed up a seven-figure earner from another company. Somebody who was already making millions of dollars. 
And guess what? I was little John, 19 year old kid, Southern Connecticut State University, barely any experience. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing, but I was enrolling leaders because of my posture, because of my confidence. And I knew where this was going, but more importantly, I knew where I was going. Right? So I want y'all to really, really ask yourself that question, man. Like what, like, like, are you operating out of that? If I gave you the income today, what would your work ethic, what would your calendar look like, bro? What would your posture be like? What would everything be like as of right now? I want y'all to really ask yourself that question. Right? Because we were, we, we were at, at Planet 150, people always tell me, yo, John, I need to get results trading, bro. I need results. I need this. I'm like, bro, you made 30 bucks. They're like, yo, bro, it's just $30, though. I need to make at least like $3,000. i am like, bro, what the fuck are you looking for? 30 bucks is enough. Most people aren't making 30 bucks in 30 minutes. I'll tell you that. You're making more than 85% of the world. Well, what is it? No, bro, you don't need more results. You just need more belief, bro. That's what you're missing. That's what you're missing. I hit chairman 10. Dude, I didn't make over six figures. I leveraged other people that had trading results. I didn't have a six figure trading account when I was a chairman 10. Absolutely fucking not. I was probably making a thousand to two thousand dollars a month trading. Is that a lot? Who knows? Maybe to some people that's a lot of money. To me, that wasn't a lot of money at the time. I didn't need somebody to fucking tell me, dude, I need more results. Oh, I didn't need to tell anybody I needed more results because the results were in here. All right. So it's like, yo, like just understand, man, that it's like at the end of the day with this entire business, you guys got to got to really, really, really increase the, the ante, increase the belief system behind it. Because it's like, I don't look at this business anymore. Like, like, I understand that people need us way more than we need them. People need you on the call way more than you need them. You got to really, really understand that. Like I, I, I look at, I look at some of the stuff going on today and I realize that it's like, yo, bro, people now more than ever need you way more than you need them. People aren't in a position of growth. People aren't really leveling up in life. They're not around an environment of people. People don't have access to a $7 trillion industry. People can make their Forex jokes all they want. People can make crypto jokes all they want. You know, what's funny though, those crypto jokes been real quiet lately. Those Forex jokes have been real quiet lately. Why? Because at the end of the day, man, show me another industry that is producing $7 trillion in a day. Guess what? You can't. I'll bet you a million dollars because you'll never find one because there's only one. And that's the foreign exchange market. Find me another industry that's revolutionizing the entire world in, in the way that we're getting paid. There is not. The cryptocurrency market is doing that. Find me another industry that can make you money in legit minutes. I saw Matthew Thayer throw, close like $30,000 in a minute. I was blown away. I was blown away. Show me another industry. Show me another company better yet. This is for all the companies out there. Show me another company where a seven figure earner can make more money through the fucking services than they can make through their residuals. Show me another service. Show me another service. Show me another company. Because Superbit, last two days with Superbit, I think it was Monday, I made more money with crypto than I made off of my entire monthly check last month. Show me something. For real, there's nothing else out there. There is nothing else out there. If someone finds me something like that, I'll give them my call. I don't care. You take my entire check. Really wouldn't care, right? So I want y'all to really understand. I want y'all to build your confidence behind sharing the business, behind talking behind the business. Don't let the negativity ever get to you, bro. Have the posture of a millionaire. All of that has to come first before you become that person, right? All of that has to come first. Eliminate old beliefs that are no longer serving you. Broke habits, a broke belief system, okay? Eliminate all of that. And now start inheriting new belief systems behind everything that is going on. 
I need y'all to focus on this. I need y'all to really focus on that because I had to break a lot of generational beliefs, man. A lot of generational beliefs. You know, there's this thing called your financial destiny. Okay. If you want to figure out what your financial destiny is, if you're on the call or on Zoom, I'll give you it right now. You take your dad's income. You take your mom's income. You take maybe if you have a brother or a sibling, their income. Okay. Then you take your grandparents' income, your grandfather and your grandmother's income. You take all that. Okay. You take all their income. You add them all up. And then you divide that by five. Okay. And that's the average yearly income that you are destined to make. That's your financial destiny. You want to know my, my, my financial destiny? My dad made 30, maybe 40 grand a year, 40, 50 grand a year. My mom made probably 40, 50 grand a year. My great, my grandfather probably made in Ecuador 10, maybe five grand a year. My, my other grandma, probably in Ecuador, five to 10 grand a year until they came into this country making like 25 grand a year. My great grandfather, five, 10, five to six grand a year. My great grandfather, five to six grand a year. My financial destiny, the way that it looked was on average about 20 grand a year. And you're here to tell me, guys, that, that it can't work for you. Guys, the, the, the income that you're at, the belief system that you have, the trauma that you're experiencing is passed down. When you decide to make that decision, I call the decision like Neo in the movie of the Matrix, you can take the red pill or the blue pill. Bro, think about it like this, like that decision right there is like so important because you can break generational curses. You can legitimately break the entire curse, man. You can break the lineage of what's going on right now because your income right now is, is really the average of those five to six people. And, and I'm going to give you guys something even crazier. What I was trying to tell you all earlier, I literally almost lost my train of thought was that because of that, the, 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 the belief systems that you have, I want to tell you all poverty it isn't passed down physically, it's passed down mentally. I need y'all to understand that. Poverty and mediocrity isn't passed down physically, it's passed down mentally. It took me a lot of time, bro. It took me a lot of time to rewire the way that I think, the way that I, re the way that I looked at the world, because I was living in scarcity. I was living in a fucking, right? I, was in, uh, I had coping behavior. I was li living in this like, kind of different reality, you could say. The moment I started reading, the moment I started getting around the right people, the moment I started changing my belief system, that's one thing I want you guys to really study tonight is your belief system. I started changing different parts of my entire belief system and I started to see a different reality. It's kind of like the lens that you have right now in the world, it's either super cloudy or sometimes you, you have the wrong lens and it's sometimes not even your fault this lens has been passed down to you by somebody else who had the same lens. But once you start to see the world through different lenses, you start to inherit a new lens on the world and that becomes your new reality, right? Different belief system, different habits, different ideas, right? So I want y'all to really understand that that's what we're doing. You have a chance really with this entire thing to create generational wealth. Like the time to be alive, there's no better time to it. Dude, age of information. I was talking to Jason yesterday. I was like, bro, I'm, I feel so blessed because yo, my fucking parents, they never had a chance. They never had a chance. Like they, the internet never existed for them. Like they had no chance. Think about it. The inter this, this internet thing, it's we're the, we're the most blessed time period to have ever existed. Most socially connected generation in the world has ever existed. Right? Most I don't know if you guys know this, but people think there's that it's, it's bad right now because we're sometimes at war with this, this country, this country. There's never been a time in history since the most amount of peace has ever occurred in the world. We've been in the longest time of peace without major wars ever before in history in the last hundred years. It's never happened before in history. We are not just blessed 
we all won a fucking lottery ticket to be alive today. Four, one in 400 trillion, what are your chances? That's like you winning the lottery a million fucking times over again and again and again and again and again. Like, it's like, dude, like, I don't know. I don't know if it's like really resonating with y'all. Like if y'all really just don't understand how lucky and, and how anointed every single person is on the entire call today. And, and, and when you have that belief system, I've seen that, you know, I see it. When you have that belief system, it's so easy to share. It's so easy to, to cast that same vision onto people. It's so easy to really push it. You know what I mean? Because it's like, dude, like most people, man, they don't, they don't get to see that. Most people will never get to know that. Most people will never even understand that. It's, it's so crazy, right? But you're in, envi in an environment right now where you can do that, right? You have, right? So build up your belief, study belief and start sharing the business and really go out there, right? And, and, and portray that confidence behind the business. Because to be honest, if you understood that, what I just told y'all, yo, you wouldn't even entertain a bit of negativity. You wouldn't entertain a dumb fucking opinion. I don't even entertain guys negativity in my life. Dude, the moment that negativity is in my life, bro, I just block it out. Someone hits me up on social media, dude, I don't even respond. Okay, block. Don't even want to see you again in my life. I don't care because I don't want any negativity. I don't want any distractions. I don't want any, anything like that in my life. All right. I take it out immediately. Right. So fear number two, getting unlearning your beliefs and relearning beliefs. And now number three is focus, having an immense amount of focus towards your success. Okay. Distractions versus desires. You're going to have to get rid of your fucking distractions, man. I'm going to keep it real, right? A lot of people are always like, yo, it's done. It's done. Chairman 10, it's done. Okay, you could say it's done, but that doesn't mean shit, dude. That doesn't mean shit. You got to put in the work, bro. You got to grind. You got to grind, okay? Work like it's up to you and pray like it's up to him, up to the God, up to Lord, up to the Lord, right? But you gotta work like it's up to you, man. You can't just say you have faith, say it's done, and then you know, go fucking watch Netflix and then go be like, yo, it's on TV. Dude, you know what I did? I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what I did. Okay, it's not gonna sound beautiful, it's not gonna sound so crazy. Okay, you know what? I I I got rid of going out. Okay. I would only go out maybe once a week max. Okay. I would wake up from 8 a.m. from 8 a.m. till 10 30 a.m. This was my schedule. 8 a.m. till 10 30 a.m. I was trading from 10 30 till 11 30 almost. I was reading from 11 30 till till two o'clock. I was going to hit the gym from two o'clock and no, no from in between that I was also answering messages for my European team and I had the whole day scheduled out the day before. From two o'clock, I would come back, I would take a shower, I would eat, 2.30, I'd be in front of calls. From 2.30 to five, six o'clock, I would do European calls. I would message people back. I would set up calls in, in between gaps just in case I didn't have any more calls lined up. Okay, I would tap root. Okay, I would follow up with people. Okay, I would build the business realistically. Okay, from two to five. Okay, five, I'll take like a little break, then go back at it at six and then work with my East Coast teams from six to anywhere from eight to nine o'clock. Then from nine o'clock till 10 o'clock, maybe almost 11 o'clock, okay? Uh, I did that and I would work with my West Coast teams. Yeah, that was my fucking day. That was my day, Monday through Friday for years, okay? For at least a year or two, at least a year. Then people used to ask me all the time, how did you do it so young? That's what I fucking did. And for people that are on the call and they're here to give me fucking excuses, Okay, excuses sound best to those who make them. Okay, guess what? I had to lose sleep too. Doesn't matter. Some of y'all are sleeping for more than eight hours a day. Like, I don't know what the fuck you're sleeping for. Like, you're sleeping your life away. The average person needs six to seven hours of sleep. You're sleeping any more of that, you're legitimately sleeping on your dreams. Right? The average person 
is is going out there and and on they watch television four hours a day. You got to get rid of the TV, bro. I sold my TV. When I got involved in network marketing, I sold my fucking TV, dude. I got rid of it. I got rid of every distraction. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding you. And I'm not saying that it has to be permanent. It's for a temporary, for a temporary period of time. Because then eventually, you know, obviously it starts to build and you can, you know, go back into that. But dude, you're going to have to get this thing that I like to call a beautiful obsession. You're going to have to get beautifully obsessed behind this business. I like to use this one word called disgust, right? Alex calls it disgust. You got to, you got to get disgusted by yourself, bro. You got to get disgusted about your situation. You have to get disgusted about the habits and belief systems that you have right now. You got to get disgusted at your income and you got to think, what would my life become? Okay. If my yearly went, became a monthly, if my yearly became a weekly, how would I operate and how would that person move? Right. You got to stay focused, man. Focus on you, focus on your elevation because it's going to help you grow. Keep a clean, clear cut focus, bro. It's the highest paid skill set in the world. The average millennial now has the attention span of a goldfish. We live in a TikTok generation. We don't understand what delayed gratification feels like anymore. We don't know what that type of energy is like anymore. We live in this TikTok generation where everything's so instant gratification, bro. If you want to get high off likes, you post a Facebook photo. If you want to go date someone, you go on fucking Tinder, you swipe left, you swipe right. You want to eat something, you go on Uber Eats. And none of this shit existed years, a couple of years ago, and it's destroying our generation. But I want you all to realize that delayed gratification with entrepreneurship, you're going to have to get comfortable with that. You're going to have to get comfortable with delayed gratification, right? You're going to have to get comfortable with living in faith. Another thing you're going to have to get comfortable with is having this entrepreneurial mindset where it's like you have this like you eat what you hunt mentality. Okay. You eat what you hunt. A lot of people wait for people to hunt for them. Yo, you eat what you hunt mentality. If you enrolled somebody that day, if you did your daily methods of operation that day, okay, you get to eat. You deserve rest. If you don't, you don't deserve rest. You continue to move forward. Like it's an absolute must do. I remember spending times doing my DMOs at like 2 a.m. in the morning because I wasn't able to do them that day because I realized I was like, yo, I didn't deserve rest. I don't deserve to sleep. I got to get this shit done. I feel like that's the type of crazy mentality that you need to have. I sound a little bit crazy, but I feel like to hit big levels in life, you got to be a little bit crazy. You got to be a little bit crazy, a little bit different than the average person because it's like, yo, mediocrity is self-inflicted. Genius is self-bestowed. So uh, Josh, take it away, bro. I appreciate y'all. I'm losing my voice. If y'all got value on the call, go drop some fire emojis on my last Instagram post. I'm going to drop it below. We can stay connected. If y'all got value on the call, I appreciate every single one of you guys. And I'm going to pass it back to Josh for him to take it away. I appreciate y'all for real. Oh, y'all, whoa. Whoa, look, 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 what, what pages, yo, this man is snapped, oh my god, what do you say, oh man, bars, this is bars after bars after bars, we are blessed, we are truly blessed um, to have had John Guaman bless our evening today, Um, everything was just so, so concise, so to the heart, so focused, you know what I'm saying, poverty isn't passed down physically, it's passed down mentally, y'all yeah, man, oh man, look, I don't really want to say anything else after that. All I want to say is if you weren't taking notes, you played yourself, right? If you, if you weren't serious about this business, if you had, you know, any type of reluctance before, if you didn't really understand what was in front of you, that is all the perspective that you could possibly need. Like guys burn this into the back of your mind. Um, and, and that was just the reality. You know, by the time I had gotten started with this industry and locked in with I am, I was like, I was like 20, I was like 24, right? That's pretty much 24, 23, 24. And I had literally realized like, wow, I, I did pretty much most of the things we were told to do growing up. And I had come to find out 95% of the population is struggling, guys. Um, and that was just all facts, you know? And that's just the reality, guys. Documentation beats conversation. Documentation beats conversation, guys. Follow John Guaman at John B. Guaman, Instagram.com, right? Backslash John B. Guaman. Just go type in at John.
you know, I'm Iguama, guys. Um, he's a legend in the industry. This is not the last time you guys will be seeing him, I'm sure. But I'll tell y'all what. I'll see you at the top because the bottom is way too crowded. You can't beat the odds if you don't go against them, y'all. Have a good night. Have a blessed Friday. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 11 a.m. Shadow Work Saturday call. Let's run this up.